you know, this, hey. This is what I think. Truth, straight up. If you cheating on somebody, and then that person cheat on you, you're either going to do one or two things. You're either going to play the victim, act like you never done nothing, and you was just the perfect, you were just the perfect significant other, never did it, and just play the big ass victim. Or, if you was doing what you was doing, you're going to come straight out and be like, well, shit, I was doing it too because you don't give a fuck and you feel that you got played. So you want to be the one to be like, well, shit, I played you first. That's what it is. That's the only two options. Either you're going to play the victim or you're going to make it seem like, shit, I played you first. And I'll say, hey, you was doing your dirt, I was doing my dirt, we even. I don't believe in even. Once one dirt is done, it's over. It is hey, it if is. I did my dirt first, you find out, it's, ah, shit, I'll be like, shit, leave me. Break up with me. Because obviously, if somebody cheating on you, it's, it's done. It's done. Now, we're going to skip all the introductions. As far as people saying that men cheat more than women, no. I'm not saying men cheat more. I'm not saying women cheat more. But I'd be damned if I let somebody say that men are dumber or not better liars than women. That's why they get caught more. Hell no. One, if a dude get caught, more than likely, he don't even care if you catch him. So he's going to do it anyway. He might put the clues in front of your face. If a man put the clues in front of your face and he do it more than one time, obviously he don't give a fuck whether you catch him or whether you don't. Now you can sit there and try to get even back with him and go do whatever you want to do and feel like, hey, shit, well, he doing this and I know he doing it, but he don't think I know, so I'm going to do it to him too. Nine out of ten times, nigga be like, shit, so I don't care what she clues, do. So then why... Why stay? Why not just leave? Why cheat? If you have to throw clues at a girl that you're cheating on her, why stick around? Shit, that's just what dudes do. Shit, I mean, okay. If you know you can cheat on a girl and Wait, still stay with the original girl. Okay. If you, if you, that's what, I mean, I'm just saying. This is we talking about. If you can, if you can have a girlfriend and still get the benefits of having that girlfriend while just getting something on the side from another girl, which I'm just saying dudes that do cheat, then they're going to keep doing it regardless until they lose one of them. When they lose one of them, then they're going to go back to that one and keep strong on it. That's just what they do. Now, as far as saying that women, men cheat more than women, men, women cheat more than men, hell no. It's even. And one, there ain't no statistic that say men cheat more. The only reason why women say men cheat more is because they're more sensitive to how a woman feels. That's why they can console them more. To a dude, we look at, we, when we look at society, we be like, shit, there's a lot of cheating women out there. There ain't no good women out there. Girls look at men, especially on SFA campus. Girls look at dudes, there ain't no good men at, on this campus. There ain't no good men nowhere. All these dudes are trifling. All these dudes and this and that. Turn that flip around, men say the exact same thing about women. So which one right? Which one right? The men right or the women right? Neither one because things, obviously if a female feels that way about a dude, then she has issues with herself and then vice versa. If you feel like all men are going to do you dirty, obviously there's something wrong with yourself. Because not all guys in the world are going to be the same. So obviously there's something wrong with yourself if you keep winding up in the same position on the same predicament. And, you know, this actually relates to what one of our panelists on Stephen Murray said about, you know, people drawing from their past experiences, you know, you know comparing you know, maybe they're, they're new, you know, person to, to like, one of their exes. That's stupid. What's done in the past is the past. Let the past go. I agree with that. That's one thing I agree with. From all the years I've known her, that's one thing she got right. Anyway, but, um, yeah, you know what, more or less, I, now, you can say whatever you want about this one, but to me, more women do this or not than men. If a woman get done wrong... She don't want no part of no man, no time soon. If a man get done wrong, he might feel the effects for a little bit. He might not show it in public. He might show it behind closed doors or whatever. But in public, he going to act like, shit, I'm single. I get to do what I want. I'm going to do whatever I want. I think females hold more baggage because they're more sensitive. And also it depends on how long you were with the guy. If I was with the guy for a month or two, I'm not going to hold baggage, but if I was with the guy for years, it might take me a little while to cope to cope and to get over it. Anyway, I'm not saying that what you said wasn't important. See, I, I know how to do it. I like doing that. Sarcasm, whatever. There I like sarcasm. Was.
there was um one topic that I know I asked a question on when it went back to the you know the whole you know treating women like dirt, you know, she stick to like mud part. Ashley, um this one's for you. Um, is it you know, when it came to like, you know, the just leave option, is it really that simple? For some people it is. It depends what some women if they're getting like abused or beaten. They might be afraid to leave because they're afraid that they're going to die or they're going to kill them or they're going to go after the family. And some women, I just think, are just, I don't know, they don't, I don't know, they just settle for whatever they have, which is bad. But some cases, I think it is easier to leave, and then some cases, I think it's not easy to leave. All right. Our final portion mm-hmm. from... Boy, I would keep- Chris, to, to, to follow on that topic, I don't know. I don't know many too many females that have got beaten in relationships, so I guess I can't be as sensitive to that. But for me, since I don't know too many women that have or girls, females, whatever you want to say, I look at it like this: If a nigga hits you one time and you stay there, that mean you gonna allow him to hit you again. Cause if he hits you once, more than likely he gonna hit you again. And if you if you really stay there after that first time. I'm pretty sure in your head you know, okay, well, he's going to hit me again sometime, but I'm still stay with him. After that, I have no sympathy for you. After the first time, if Plain somebody simple. hit me, I think I'm, I've Plain never been simple. hit or anything like that, but if a guy hit me after the first time, I think that would be, pack my bags, it's time to go. Plain and simple. I don't know what, I'm, I don't know I'm what he's going to wait around for the second hit or whatever else you might do to me next, so... I just, I don't know what a female from. Females, I know they get hit. They trying to kill the dude. That way, I know that's females I know. These females that sit back and just stay quiet and like, I'm scared because I, shit. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's where you came from or your upbringing or whatever. I'm not disrespecting anybody's upbringing. I'm just saying where I come from. When a female get hit, she trying to go kill the man. Plain and simple. Yeah. She trying to kill the man. That's the person. The final portion from the relationship forum dealt delve into listening. You know, so how do you feel about that? I hate listening. Nah, I don't. Listening is listening just what it is. I put it like this. If you know you got something important to tell your significant other, but you see your significant other is really and truly busy, wrapped up in something that is important to them, or that has their full attention, don't sit there and all of a sudden try to start a serious conversation. Just out of nowhere. At least ask them to say, I want to talk to you about something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bring it up before you just go straight into it. Because if you don't, if you don't warn them that it's going to be a serious conversation, we just gonna be like, well, okay, just yada 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 yada. All right, but we're not gonna care. Something is really really bothering them, and you're in a relationship, and they feel like they need to get something off their chest, and they say, hey, I got something to tell you. I'm watching the game, so you know, That's, I mean, this can wait. Put it like this: if female, if this is what it is, male or female. If it's something that important, hey, if you see. Okay, I guess we can put this on the male because I, more than likely I would just say the male be watching the game. If you really got something that important you need to talk about, and he watching the game and he be like, hey, can it wait till after the game? One, he might not care about what it is. And that's just between you and your man now. If your man care about you, he going to stop the game, turn the TV off and do whatever. If he don't do that and it's really that serious, you get your ass up, you go to the TV, unplug that bitch from the wall and show him that it's serious. Now, if you do that, and then just say, can you run to the store? We need to get some milk. <laughs> then you get your ass whooped. Not saying I'm putting my hands on you. I'll hit you with a pillow or something. You know what I'm saying? Or pour water on you while you sleep. Or something like that. But don't, don't. If it's something serious, that's what you, if it's something serious, show them that it's something serious. That's what you do. If my girl, or whatever, if she watching a, 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 a Lifetime movie, or ESPN, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And it's something that seriously I really got to talk to her about. Hey, I'm going to do something drastic to let you know that, say, we finna talk about this. Plain and simple. Don't just go there and just start blabbering and then get all mad when he don't hear you. 